the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. That is an ominous warning from Stephen Hawking, because he himself believes that AI isn't as glamorous and glitzy as you all perceive it to be. But in fact, behind the scenes, it is radically changing people's lives. Not for the better, but for the worse as well. I chose this particular topic because of one eternally annoying question I'm always asked. And that is, what are your plans after school? To be very honest, I'm unsure. Because I could very well be working at a job which ceases to exist. Or maybe living a lifestyle that is unheard of. Whether we like it or not, AI has already slipped into our daily lives. That includes anything from Siri, Alexa, Google search algorithms, to IBM's Watson, to Facebook advertising. AI is truly making an extreme entrance into almost every facet of society in predicted and unique ways, causing both excitement but trepidation for all of us. I would like to tell all of you a story. Some time ago, I fractured my nose. I was rushed to the hospital, and once the doctor did clear me, we went to the pharmacy. Little did I know that that pharmacy was going to be fully controlled by artificial intelligence. I walked up, I typed my name, and that was it. The process was so simple and efficient, my medicines came rolling down within a minute. I was simply amazed by how one menial process had become so efficient and easy by one single automation. As a third party, everything seems to add up. But once I mulled more and more about this one experience I had, I realized something was missing. In fact, not something, but somebody. And that somebody was a pharmacist. The people who once used to work there had been fired, not because of their incapability, but simply because they were replaced by the next generation of artificial intelligence bots. And in 15 years, it's only going to get worse, because all of you can get familiar with this number. Because 38% of people will be jobless. That is 2.6 billion people with inadequate housing, <coughs> insufficient food, and simply improper education. And the worst thing about this is that all that money is going straight into the pockets of these financial companies. And that is something absurd, how we humans can create a product which pulls down such a large percentage of the race. Now the scariest part about artificial intelligence is the fact that we can't stop the development. Because it's already here. We can take the example of Jill Watson, an online teaching assistant at Georgia Tech University. Believe it or not, it fooled every one of those students into thinking it was a real life teacher. We have reached the pinnacle of technology where we're able to replicate complicated human dialogue. And that itself is a great achievement by itself. AI isn't all doom and gloom. Yes, I have spoken negatively about the subject, but it's all for reason. Because AI's benefits include being more efficient. And I think the most important thing and the essence of artificial intelligence is that it can be used to find cures for diseases. And this is something extremely vital which we need to utilize. Because we know AI does have two, sorts, two sides of the coin. It does have benefits, and we need to focus on that and make sure that it doesn't seep into every single industry we can think of. And by that logic, we can stop, stop these dire consequences from happening. And to achieve this constant excellence, which we are always talking about, is extremely difficult. Because even NASA, one of the world's largest institutes for space exploration are struggling with their probe intelligence. If they themselves are struggling, struggling to program something to perfection, we are truly in trouble. Look at what hope do we have? They are a multi-billion dollar company. And I'm sure that we will not get that amount of financial backing and resources available to us. Because if the product is not perfect, we are making ourselves vulnerable. Our networks can be hacked so very easily. That means all of our personal details, our money, our files, our photos, 
would be re revealed by one click of a hacker. And that itself is a truly horrific thing. Because we will not only be introducing a whole new path for cyber attacks, but AI can also be used as a weapon. They say that AI will take digital weaponry to a next level. We already have the ransomware attacks taking our world by storm. And AI is self-developing, it self thinks, it changes its program by itself. AI would be unstoppable. No program would be able to put a halt to any sort of terror that AI would be causing 15, 20 years down the line. Now moving on to the social aspect on why AI isn't what we think it is. AI is very much like phones. The intrusion of phones has made a difference in our society. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't really matter because we can all agree that it has distanced ourselves from everyday social interaction. AI would reach the point where we simply wouldn't even have to get out of bed. Everything would be done for us around the house. And I don't think we should be encouraging such habits. A life where we don't gain the satisfaction of going out and experiencing the true things which we call our world. Lastly, the darkest aspect of artificial intelligence is the fact that it can be used to control autonomous weapons. That would catapult the casualty rates, take them to a whole new dimension. More people would be dying. We would be taking a step towards war and terror. Whereas we should be looking towards peace and globalization. AI would ruin anything that would even come close to what we're achieving and to our utopia land. Three incredibly smart individuals who go by the name Max Tegmark, Elon Musk, Mark, and Mark Zuckerberg have all signed a petition called Freedom of Life. <coughs> this petition is to ban any weapon even concerning the topic of artificial intelligence. And these three people are extremely intelligent. And I think we should take a hint from them and from our movie directors because they seem to know something that we don't. We've seen the movies, we've seen Terminator, and the AI bot always seems to take over. This one topic has not only interested me, but it has caused a huge stir up, up in Silicon Valley, beating two greatly innovative people, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. Elon Musk, on one side, believes that we should be conscious of our developments. Whereas Mark Zuckerberg believes that we should leave AI to be developed on its free will. And in my opinion, and until our world can fully cope with the full effects and the full development of artificial intelligence, we should be conscious. Because there is no harm in taking precautions. Because otherwise our world would move to a much darker place. A place where the unemployment rate soar. And with a higher unemployment rate, we would see higher crime rates. A world where we wouldn't have a hierarchy system. A world where we wouldn't feel safe. So what I am here doing is advocating that more stringent rules and measures are taken into account. We should have an impregnable off switch in case anything does go wrong. Only then, and only then, would we be able to stop and actually be able to cope with the full effects of artificial intelligence. Otherwise, I truly worry that we could live in a world where this Stephen Hawking quote could become a reality. That the full development of artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Thank you.